I, I was wondering, Greg, about, uh, you know, because Bright Cove's been in the business a long time, you've seen a lot of different programming channels. You know, is, is this a bit of a myth about videos have to be short? I, I mean, I, I guess my point of view is, is that, you know, you can have a one minute video that seems like a 12 minute video, and you can have a 12 minute video that seems like a one minute video. It really depends, goes to what John was talking about before about production value, storytelling. Is there one size fits all with this, or, or because video is becoming a lot more prevalent and people are watching HBO shows on online, are people getting more tolerant about watching longer programming if it sustains itself? Yeah, I mean that that <laughs> that's a difficult question. I think I think we see in in uh, in the commercial space where where video is being used to to achieve a a business result, uh, whether it's getting someone to to uh, learn more about your solution or buy your solution or sign up for something or, or what have you. You're trying to get a specific conversion or action out of those people. I'd say in general terms that that's your two minute population, right? And, and then, uh, but there's a lot of long form content out, out, on, out there. And, uh, and I think the long form content is, is much more, um, has much more of, a, of an entertainment and, uh, or an educational type of uh, value. So. You know, if that's the if that's the nature of, of the beast, and you have a and you have a fan or a or a or a uh, admirer of that particular subject, you're going to get them to sit longer for for that. But if you're trying to get them to buy something or sell something or sell them something, they're going to have a shorter attention span. I think in general terms, at least that's what we see. We see the, the long form content much more focused around entertainment and yeah. and education and short form for everything else. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I would say one, briefly that there's, you know, some of our clients are, are producing their own online television series mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, you know, creating these, you know, there's one, one you know, SolidWorks, for example, I know they have, uh, do you remember the name of the show? There's a, there's a series they have, it's like a reality. Let's Go Design. Let's Go Design. And that's a probably a good, a good seven or eight minutes probably or so. Uh, because it's really like you feel like you're watching a reality TV show about which which indirectly sells the product, but it goes through this whole process of figuring out what they're going to design and how they're going to design it, and they have a very uh, charismatic charismatic host. So um, I think with um, you know companies are now starting to look at well, how can they kind of kind of start robbing the uh, you know and affect the bandwidth from the, you know the, the audience from broadcast television, and if you can create compelling content on your online TV channel. Can you create enough entertainment value around your, you know, directly or indirectly around your products, whether it's educational or entertainment value? Well, it's format driven. It's I mean, format if driven. you're looking and at you a, if, if, if you're looking at a, something that smells and, and feels like a 30 second spot or yeah. whatever, maybe you could do a video display ad that could play for two minutes and be in and be out. If you're doing something that's an extension of like you're saying, like a reality show, people yeah. will will perhaps uh, stick with it longer because it's compelling storytelling, and yeah. uh, so I, I think it depends.